Michael and Faith, Archangels of the Fifth Ray Excerpts from the Masters in their Retreats Michael and Faith, Archangels of the First Ray Profiles of the Ascended Masters Michael is the Archangel of the First Ray of Protection, Faith, and the Will of God. He is the Prince of the Archangels and of the Angelic Hosts, the Defender of the Faith, the Angel of Deliverance. The Book of Daniel calls him the Great Prince which standeth for the children of thy people. His divine complement is Archia, Faith. Archangel Michael has figured as the greatest and most revered of angels in Jewish, Christian, and Islamic scriptures and traditions. In Muslim lore, he is the angel of nature who provides both food and knowledge to man. In Jewish mystical tradition, Archangel Michael is identified with the angel who wrestled with Jacob, destroyed the armies of the Sena Cherub, and saved the three Hebrew boys in the fiery furnace. Archangel Michael was the angel who appeared to Joshua as he prepared to lead the Israelites in battle at Jericho. John the Apostle speaks of the Archangel Michael in the book of Revelations when he recounts that it was Michael who cast the devil and his angels out of heaven into the earth. By this we know that the fallen angels have taken embodiment and that the enemies of Christ are in the world of form. It is therefore Archangel Michael and the legions of the blue lightning who serve with him who defend the children of God from the enemies of the Antichrist. Archangel Michael and his legions daily descend into the astral plane, fully arrayed in their mighty blue armor, carrying their shields and swords of blue flame. There they cut free those who have passed from the scene of life and who are unable to rise to higher octaves of service in the retreats of the masters. He and his angels of deliverance work 24 hours a day on these levels rescuing souls from the accumulation of their own human creation over the centuries and also from the projections of the dark ones. They have served there for many years and Michael says that he is determined to never give up until the last child of light on this planet has risen to the God source in the ritual of the ascension. To assist in cutting the light bearers free from the astral entanglements, Archangel Michael has a sword of blue flame that has been fashioned from pure light substance. This sword of blue flame is a rod of blue flame power that he has used for protection of mankind since the descent of the laggards and the luciferians in the earth plane. Michael tells us that his sword is God's sword. It has come from the great central sun a gift from the very heart of God himself, and has been passed to him from the mighty Elohim Hercules. When this sword of blue flame blazes into a negative manifestation, nothing can stand against it. You may always call for his sword of blue flame. Visualize it as the sparkling electric blue that is seen in the blue flame in the burner of a gas stove. Take this sword in your own right hand. Swing it around you daily as you give your dynamic decree to be cut free from all that binds you and keeps you from your victory. Then maximize your decrees to include calls for the freedom of all on our planet and even the salvation of the planet itself. Daily calls to the Archangel Michael for protection and for his momentum of faith and devotion to the will of God will ensure the protection of those who go forth in his name and service as defenders of the faith. Students may also call on the Archangel Michael for the cloak of invisibility invincibility and invulnerability, and for the mighty blue armor when they go forth to do battle with the forces of evil. Archangel Michael is part of the fraternity of light bearers known as S.H.I.E.L.D., 
whose members serve 24 hours a day and protect the image of the Christ in every man, woman, and child embodied upon this planet. Archangel Michael is a very special angel to us. He, with his legions of light, have dedicated himself for thousands and thousands of years to the safety, the security, the perfectionment of our souls, and to our protection, caring for us, sponsoring us, rebuking us, teaching us the way of God's holy will, giving us to understanding that we each have a blueprint in life, that we have a divine plan. So tender and so present is the love of God for us, and he makes that known to us, especially in a most personal way through his angels. The Goddess of Liberty says, Archangel Michael is at your side and does answer your call and does answer it best when you keep a daily momentum of prayers to him. Your call for help will be answered instantaneously when you have built this momentum. Archangel Michael has made the commitment to each and every one of us that if we will give our decrees and songs to him for 20 minutes each day, he will keep an angel with us until the hour of our victory. Archangel Michael also offered to give us his momentum of faith, as he says, Give me your doubts. Give me your questionings. I will indeed give you my faith, and my faith is a power to transform and direct into the world the great blue lightning love of the infinite Father of all. This power and this faith is real. Sometimes all that is necessary for us to successfully pass through a difficult moment of testing is to know that we have friends of light who are upholding us and praying for our overcoming. However, when an archangel offers his faith to humanity, it is our responsibility to accept his gift, invoke his flame and his intercession, and make it a part of our lives. He says, when sight is obtained, of what need is faith? It is not I who need faith then, except to give it away, but it is you who require it. In most cases, the battle of life is not won on momentous decisions, but on the little day-to-day -day experiences whereby when you turn your heart to God in faith and trust, you receive the grace that cuts you free from the negative aspects of life in which your consciousness has momentarily become trapped. We can visualize the pathway of faith as a mighty shimmering ribbon of light substance connecting the individual with his God presence. Sometimes a simple thought form like this is all that will be needed to free us from the negative facets of life. Archangel Michael has offered us another great gift from his heart of love, a dispensation given in Boston on April 22, 1961. Blessed and beloved ones, some of you are of advanced years, and it will not be long before you shall vacate your body temples. Some of you shall do so by the ascension, and some shall enter the realms of our world in the other manner called death. I will make you one promise, if you will call to me secretly within your heart and ask me to come to you at the hour. I, Michael, will materialize to you at the hour of your passing, and you will see me as I am. And I will promise you that I will help to cut you free from the remaining portions of your karma, and will help you to enter the realms of light with less of the attendant pain that results from human fear in their passing. This is the privilege and gift I give you from my heart. I flood it forth to the people of Boston and to those throughout the world who have the faith to accept and to realize that God walks and talks with man today in the same manner as of old. I am Michael, Prince of the Archangels, rendering for the earth a cosmic service. Archangel Michael's etheric retreat is in the Canadian Rockies at Banff near Lake Louise. He also has a focus of light over Central Europe. His keynote is the Navy hymn, Eternal Father, Strong to Save. The music of the bridal chorus from Lundgren may also be used to invoke the radiance of the archangels and the angelic hosts. 
Archangel Michael is the sponsor of the police departments and law enforcement agencies around the world.